girl welcome or welcome back to my channel before we get into today's vlog i wanted to tell you about today's plug which is in collaboration with a brand named own he own he make 100 organic period products for women from period pants to all natural products unlocking the best in period care sexual wellness and holistic health own he has not only created a community they are changing the way we're viewing our menstrual cycle and girl your cycle just got better own he created period pants that would push far beyond practicality superior absorbency and leak free protection they put comfort at the forefront without compromising on style it's up to 50 percent more absorbent than cotton whilst using significantly less resources than cotton, making it the perfect material for our pants. Practical, sustainable and luxurious, the ultimate trifecta. I found these period pants from Onhi to be stretchy, comfortable and giving me the added security that I feel that I need during my menstrual cycle. For more menstrual supplies from Onhi, you can visit their website at www.ownhe.com Hey girl <laughs> I'm actually in Asda I went to work this morning I don't know how how have I ended up in, in like another supermarket um, to be honest there were certain bits I wanted to get I'm really funny about getting my salad online um, and I feel like every time I buy from Morrison's like their, their actual um, peppers and stuff it always tastes like there's some sort of a chemical in it so um yeah but yeah i'm in asda now i just wanted to get some like i ran out of hummus katie i don't know if you've seen that vlog yet but that vlog's going to be before this one um katie made vegan um fr uh, fritters and ever since she made them i'm tell you, telling you i could easily eat those in replacement for the salt fish ones but ever since she made them i've been craving fritters so i've got some salt fish and um I've got popcorn and stuff like that and some hummus and all those little bits that I've run out of that I didn't want to or couldn't get from Morrison's online um, and yeah and that's it really so I'm just going to get my stuff from here I'm not going to bother show you you know what a supermarket looks like girl um, I'm going to go and get some planting because I've been craving planting as well I need some scotch bonnets because a fritter ain't a fritter without scotch bonnets honey okay and I need to get some bread because I've got this thing about um well what I normally do is I get the um either paninis or the french sticks that you can put in the freezer because they last longer if you buy them fresh they don't last as long but if you buy the ones that you can put in the freezer you can eat them whenever you want and you will always have them when you need them and I love a bread I can do a diet not that I ever will in my right mind but but I could never do without bread honey I die 
if you follow my channel then you'll know that i've been i've been away for a hot minute like i took a good i would say maybe three months off of youtube but not just off of youtube i've been i took it off of all of my platforms and um to be honest with you i've been doing even the bare minimum for my business platform because the kid has just been super just overwhelmed and i needed to take a break but um we can get into that another time that is definitely for another video because i really do feel like i've come back with um information taking this time away has I, I really feel like taking this time away has given me the time to be able to reflect and also to um just sort of like you know when you need to like stop reel everything in and just take a moment that's exactly where i've been so um yeah in doing that i've learned a few things that could i don't know we can just talk about it and it may or may not be stuff that's helpful for you but i don't know if i really want to make it like a big deal and do like a dedicated video because i really don't feel not that it's not that deep but i don't want to do a dedicated video i don't want to do that i just want to just sit down and have like an honest conversation with you guys and just talk about you know what my what my experience has been since being away um, obviously you guys know that I have, um, I started a business last year and with that comes, um, it, it's just been a learning process. To be honest with you, it's been a very enjoyable, um, process because, um, it's definitely taught me some new skills that I wouldn't have had otherwise. I think it's definitely built my character and, um, it build is building my character but yeah, I just, I needed to take some time out because I just found myself to be in a place that was super duper, I don't know why I said super duper, that was just too much, but I just found myself to be in a place that's been, I've just been really overwhelmed guys and I needed to take a break. I make no apologies for taking time away from social media because I think it's definitely, definitely needed um, and don't ever feel like oh you can't take a break from social media no matter how big your platform is if if it's your mental health always take your breaks and i needed a break if you guys have been really really following me like really riding for me since the beginning then you know i go mia every once in a while and that's how i manage my mental health and take time away to sort of like chill and recoup um renew uh restore whatever it is that needs to be done that's how i do that and usually i seek the lord and um try to like get some kind of a guidance and some sort of a peace you guys know anything that comes with confusion and anytime you're not in peace that doesn't come from god so you really need to take it back to him in prayer um, that is another story that I want to talk to you guys about because I definitely feel like I came to a point in my faith that um, I was wavering a little bit and um, I think it's just really important to talk about that because I think it's really easy to sit up on these platforms and be like oh you know I just trust God and, and then I feel all right and when the reality is like no that's not always how it is and sometimes you're not going to feel like praying. You're not going to like feel like doing much of anything, much less talk to God. And that's the reality of it. And I think it will be really helpful to just talk to you guys about where I found myself and how I'm sort of like managing now. I wouldn't say that I am in, I'm definitely better than what I was, but I definitely learned some things about my myself during this time away. My birthday was actually on the 3rd of December and um kate wanted to take me and elsie and her son out today to celebrate our birthdays i think we're all december born but basically kate mama kate wants to take us out today for dinner so we're going to like an international buffet style um eatery restaurant kind of place which is going to be really really lovely
might, let me see. Oh, I forgot why I like this one. This one is Pigale. What a name, Pigale. <laughs> on me and to be quite honest with you i'm loving the vibe so it is what it is it is an oversized fit anyway but i did ask my mum to go to like get it for me and get like go a size up so this is huge but i don't care i love it i love the vibe and got a little bag where did i get this from i think boohoo boohoo i think i can't remember if you guys saw this jacket when it came out then you'll know where it's from it might be boohoo or it might be asos i don't know and then i've got the denim flared trousers from from where did i get these from from boohoo as well and then i have on the boots the boots are also from boohoo and they look like this they're like ankle boots. Yeah. So. <laughs> anyway, I know I said to you guys. <laughs> Elsie wanted to be in this vlog. So bad. <laughs> now when I put the camera up. Hi everyone, <laughs> it's good to see you all. Yes. I'm covering my face. She's covering her face because she's sick. Yeah. She don't want to give us so the lurgies. I didn't even know that this shopping centre even existed to be fair. Oh, the good light, Elsie. Hi. Oh, I love that. <laughs> your skin is glowing. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> trying to get some um, so I'm actually trying to get footage in while I'm filming and it's a bit difficult <laughs> but this is some of the food. I literally got pasta there's the pasta carvery I'm not sure how much you guys can see because I'm not I'm not like able to hold the camera properly. Oh. <laughs> Was he married? Yes, married kids and everything. Thank you, ma'am. My lip as well. I'm so craven, you know. I always bit my lip, bite my lip. I always bite my lip. We're going out now. I couldn't get the buffet for the first time in a long time. I got some of the buffet, but for the first time in a long time, I actually felt a bit embarrassed to like because there was so many people. So I didn't get to <laughs> look at Elsie watching me. You're not watching me too much. <laughs> These are making it so awkward to vlog. Um, yeah, so I'm really sorry guys. I couldn't even catch it catch a lot of it because um, I really felt like I couldn't I couldn't because there were so many people around Anyway guys We're heading back now It'd be good oh if I had God. somewhere to go, but I don't have anywhere to go Elsie's got her mask off now Why are you trying to act like you don't you're not in it. You were just in it Elsie. <laughs> Get over here. Don't because he doesn't want to be in it Hi. This is Elsie. 
<laughs> this is her without her, her mask on. <laughs> yeah, so anyway, we're heading back now. I'll get back to you lot in the house. So yeah, I bought um, a new kettle and I waited a little while to get this. This was actually due on the 5th of January, but it came today. If you know me, you know I love stove top kettles just basically because I'm lazy as hell. And if the kettle ain't screaming and whistling, I ain't getting up to get the kettle. But because this makes so much noise, you either jump up before it or jump up as soon as it starts going off because it's so obnoxious. So I love a whistling stove top kettle. I had to get one because I couldn't get one in black only for it to arrive and guys look at this i cannot even believe that the seller even had the audacity to send this like how it is look at how this is scratched up and looks just in some disgusting tragic condition <laughs> i was so disappointed and then on top of that it just feels very kind of like flimsy i was so disappointed the thing just looks bashed up scratched up and flimsy so you know i just got straight on the well not on the phone but i just basically let amazon know straight away look this is like really bad quality um even the box to be honest with you when the box came it wasn't even sealed up it was just kind of you know um, but yeah, I'm really, really disappointed. Really, really disappointed. Such a shame. But I think, you know what, I'm just going to keep looking. Look at the bottom though. Like even look at the bottom. What are those like marks on it? Like those brown kind of guys. I was so disappointed, but it is what it is. It wasn't all that expensive anyway. It's just like a stove top kettle. I'm just going to keep, keep looking for the one like just a black version of this basically and i might just continue to use my scratched up red kettle that i've got in the in the kitchen now because um to be honest with you i don't even trust it it's so bloody flimsy i got um now i don't know about you the reason why i thought it'd be really good to show you this is because i don't know how many people know on amazon you can get you know designer or well-known brands on amazon I was looking for a work bag and I kind of needed a work bag that was a cross between something I could put over my shoulder but something that I could also hold in my hand that wasn't so low to the ground if that makes any kind of sense um, and something that would fit my laptop in my work laptop and my little you know my little makeup bag I don't actually carry makeup but I have like a little bag that I put within my bags that will have like you know lip seal hand cream brush you know all of that kind of good stuff so it kind of needed to be big enough for that um so I found this Ted Baker bag I did already open it guys because once I opened I'll have to make sure that the stuff ain't there once I opened the kettle and I saw how damaged the kettle was I was like let me quickly check the bag because if there's something from wrong with the bag I need to be getting my money back so I was actually just browsing Amazon the other day looking for another work bag and I came across this Michael Kors, not Michael Kors, why do I have Michael Kors in my head? I came across this Ted Baker bag um, and I was actually pleasantly surprised because I didn't know whether or not to believe. I didn't know whether or not it was going to be authentic because it shows the brand name, it shows um, Ted Baker, it says Ted, Ted Baker on it, um, but I wasn't sure if it was going to be authentic, and mind you, you probably would have seen like the shiny black ones um, that Ted Baker does with like the little bow, and I had one of those, like the big version, um, which I also used for work, but to be honest with you, that lasted me like a few months, because eventually it split at the side and because it's like this kind of plasticky like plastic I actually I'll show you the bag it's like this plasticky kind of material so it split at the side couldn't do anything to repair it so I found this bag and I ended up getting this I'm gonna open it all I literally did was took take took it out the bag because I was like um I literally just took it out of the bag because I was um, just to like inspect it before I came on here in case I needed to like apply for a refund. 
as you can see it was really well packaged it was wrapped up and it's got the cardboard to keep its shape inside they actually have another size to this which is a little bit smaller um let's get this out they have another size to this which is a little bit smaller but i i needed sort of like this size the other side would have been the other size would have been too way too small for like my work laptop so if i come away you'll be able to see like the actual size so this is where it is on me i absolutely love it because it's so practical if i push it out a bit you'll see like that's how wide it is they packed it really well it says ted baker it is authentic it says ted baker london and then the original price was £50. Um, this is called the Cross Hatch Large Icon Bag. I got this for £32. And I think there's another one that might be larger or it might be smaller, actually, for £37. But I got this for £32. And I just thought this was perfect because, like I said, it will fit my work laptop in it and then, like, my other bag. And then also, like, when I want to hold it down... It doesn't like touch the floor I can just hold it in my hand and it's not so big that it touches the floor so I thought that was really nice and obviously it's really good quality and it's leather um, it's hard without being too hard to the point where you can't like manipulate it to like move um, I'm gonna show you the other Ted Baker one actually I've actually got it in the recycling bag because I need to throw it downstairs because the thing is absolutely destroyed but I'm gonna show you what I'm talking about um, yeah ignore the other bags that are inside it because i'm actually going to throw these down in a trash but this is the other ted baker bag that i had i didn't realize they're actually low-key this is probably bigger is it yes yeah, slightly bigger slightly bigger it's definitely wider and this is the one with like london paris new york los angeles and it's got like the little white bow at the front but look once this splits there's really nothing you can do because it destroys the actual plastic so yeah i'm gonna throw these out and these are all bags that i'm throwing out as well but yeah as of for tonight that is i'm literally just gonna be like drinking my tea watching some oh my gosh guys you got, I know I'm probably already late to the game. I know I'm late to the game, right? But I have been utterly, utterly obsessed with B. Simone's podcast that she does with Megan or that they do together. Guys, if you don't watch this podcast, I don't know what you're doing with your life, honestly. Like, you know, when you're watching something and you realise that like, that is what you've been needing to see? Like, that is what... That is what television needs they just don't hold back in this podcast and it's very real and it's very relatable in a way where we're not just talking about how you know how people like doing vlogs and they're talking about oh other people need to be related no we're not talking about that we're talking about real world another level grown woman relatable stuff um and i just love the way that they are so just really mindful and kind in the way that they deliver their you know their message and the way that they you know even speak about their own experiences it's such a beautiful podcast and like god is really working through them because when i was watching it i was like this is what i needed because me i'm um, it takes a lot for me to sit down and watch and watch people's content like I'm very mindful about whose content I watch and whose content I don't because I want to get something from it do you know what I mean so I love to I love to support um but I love to I love to feel like I'm getting something back from from a channel you know like how you have your channels that you watch because you're like oh I'm, I just want to chill and I don't really want to think about it and I just I like the person I love their content and I'm just going to watch it but then you have certain channels that you watch because 
it's feeding you.